Hello everyone, my name is Paul Dietrich and welcome to Dietrich Education where I talk about everything EdTech and today we're exploring Quizzy, a platform that allows you to take your video viewing experiences and transform them into gamified formative assessments. So let's check it out. Before we dive into this review, I want to thank Quizzy for increasing the number of quizzes that I can give in order to make this review. But more on that a little bit later in the video. So what is Quizzy and how does it differentiate itself from the rest of the competition? Well, with Quizzy, you can upload a video, whether it's through YouTube or from your personal computer, and it uses artificial intelligence to actually create a gamified multiple choice assessment based on the content of that video. And like any other quiz from Kahoot or Gimkit or Bluekit, you'll get end of quiz results, in which case you can look at how your participants did. You can also share the quiz with other students in your class or other people that are not in your class. So let's go ahead now and actually create a quiz. And this is our Quizzy dashboard. So I wanna give you a very quick overview before we create a new quiz. Across the top are four tabs. So the one where it says drafts, this will list all of your quizzes that you're currently working on that have not yet been labeled as live where participants can join. The live tab will list all the live quizzes that participants can join. These are all the finished quizzes or at least quizzes that you've marked as finished. And if you notice that there's only one quiz with results because these other two, I've clicked on finished but there's no participant data. No one actually completed those quizzes. And then finally, we have a my results. So these are gonna be my own personal results based on quizzes that I've taken. So before we click on new quiz, I want you to take a look at what it says underneath. It says seven remaining. This means I can create seven quizzes. And the way that Quizzy is set up currently is that you have a certain number of quizzes that you can make depending on the plan that you have. And we'll talk about those plans a little bit later. But for right now, I'm gonna click on new quiz. So what I can do here is I can insert a video two ways. I can either put a YouTube link here. Now the YouTube video must be over two minutes long, or I can upload a video from my computer. I'm just going to do a YouTube link. So I'm going to paste it here and click on create quiz. So what happens right away is that the video starts loading and playing right in the browser window. And if you look down below, it says you can select the quiz language if you'd like. So right now it's defaulted to English, but I can select any of these other languages if I'd like. I can do something called an instant quiz, which basically says let Quizzy kind of do everything. It'll make the, it'll go through the chapters, it'll make the questions, and then it's just, it's all set to go. When you click on select chapters, this allows you to be able to add questions, modify questions, or delete questions. So what I'm gonna do is click on select chapters. Now, this process will be short or longer depending on the length of your video. It does say it will take approximately one to six minutes depending on the length and source of your video. This video that I'm uploading right now is 48 minutes and 12 seconds long. And I've seen it maybe take a minute, two minutes or so. But what it's doing is that it's using artificial intelligence to go through the video, analyze the chapters, and it's gonna be creating an overall summary of the video itself, plus, an overall summary of each individual chapter. Okay, and it's done. So it took about two minutes or so. And here's what I mean by chapters. If you look over here, it says 21 chapters in total. And from these chapters, so you actually here's all the chapters that are in the video. And actually, if I click on play here, let me pause and zoom in. You see when I hover over the YouTube video here, it's this little, this, this white line is broken up. These are individual chapters in the YouTube video. So this one says introduction, this also introduction. Here's Churchill, Canada, polar bears, climate, etc. Not all YouTube videos have chapters. And actually in my experience, most of them don't. Only some of them that I've, I've experienced actually have chapters. And that's not a, it's not a, a good thing or a bad thing. It's just that if a video is longer and it does have chapters, Quizzy is able to do this in front here. It's able to actually separate this video out into individual chapters. So it says 21 chapters in total again. We can select 10 max for this quiz. So this is a 48 minute video, you know, it's almost an hour and I, maybe I don't wanna cover the whole 
video in terms of having an assessment. So what I can do is if it's separated into chapters already, I can go ahead and select, let's just select five. So here's one, two, three, four, five chapters. And this one here, this chapter says human settlements and bear behavior. It actually starts at the very beginning of the video. And this information lasts about two minutes long into the video. Uh, for example, here, actually, if you look down here where it says food, let's just click on food. All the information in food starts at about 26 minutes and 34 seconds into the video, and it's about a three minute long segment. So right now I have like, was it one, two, three, four, five, six chapters selected? And I'm going to go ahead and create quiz from the selection. All right, now from this screen, if you take a look right above the picture of the polar bear here, we actually have something that says draft. Now this indicates what column that you're in. So what this means is that the quiz is something that's it's essentially finalized. It's ready to go, and but it's in draft mode because it's not live yet. So you, the next button is, you know, next go live. So we haven't clicked on that yet. So right now it's, it's still technically in draft. So at this point, we have a few options. The first one is to delete the quiz if we want to. Uh, the next one is to preview the quiz. And what this does is it gives you an overview of the entire quiz. And so it's, it's also based on chapters. Here's, here's chapter one, and it looks like there's a one, two, three questions for chapter one. I believe there's going to be three again for chapter two and so on. It's a total of potentially, and I say that again, potentially 21 questions. And here's the reason why I say that. If I'm going to go all the way back up and I click on edit quiz questions and answers, it's not going to use all 21 questions right off the bat. So instead of going live first, I, what I would always suggest you do is click on edit quiz questions and answers. And so what we have here is the part where we can actually modify anything that we see. So if you look, it says chapter one, and there are two questions and here's questions three and four questions, five and six, and all the way down to 10. But remember in that last screen, when we went to preview the quiz, there were 21 total. And so what it's doing is it, from that total number of item banked questions, I guess you could say, it's selecting a few totaling 10. What you can do here though, is edit uh, the question itself. If you want to, you can edit the individual selections as well. You can delete them. You can also add a question manually. And here's that part where we're talking about 10 out of the 21 questions total, I can actually click on generate new question for this chapter and it'll make that third question. Depending on the length of the actual chapter, I've seen chapters have like six questions per chapter, but it really just depends on how long that segment is. So I can, I can add another question here and let, let me actually, let me go ahead and just do that for all of them. This one has a total of three so far, but so if you look, if you take a look now, I can add a, a lot of questions here because chapter five has now, has now has a total of six questions because it was a much longer segment. So now that we're done editing our questions, I had gone back and I'm ready now to go and click on go live. So what appears here is now two ways to share this quiz. I can either share a QR code, like maybe put that in a Google slide if I'd like, or I can copy the link and maybe put that into like Google classroom or whatever platform you use to share with your, your students or your audience. For what I'm going to do right now, I'm just going to click on play solo, just so we can actually see what it's going to look like as a participant. So I click on play solo and I have a couple options in the beginning here. I can choose my language that I like to take the test in. So right now it's set to English, but for example, I could set it to Spanish and, and go about it that way. I can also click on my name here and I can change it if I'd like. So now I'm going to click on continue. And this is a screen that all participants will see. They'll see the original video in its entirety at the very top of the screen. They'll see a summary of the entire video, plus all of the chapters that you've included in this particular quiz. The rules are at the bottom, so I can click on show rules. And so here's basically the, the rules of the game. So each question is worth a thousand points and it's on a timer. So the longer it takes for you to answer a question, the less points you'll receive if you get it right in the end. Um, the second point is, is actually really interesting. So guessing is really discouraged in Quizzy. So there's going to be your four options, four multiple choice options, but at the very bottom of everything, there's going to be an, I don't know button. So 
if you click on I don't know, then you'll you'll lose like 200 points, right? But if you click on uh, an answer that's wrong, you'll lose 500. So the message I guess they really want you to, to take away from here is instead of just blatantly guessing, if you don't know, just click on I don't know and there's less of a risk that you'll take. And here's actually something that's really neat too. What I really like is this very last one is that if you get a question wrong, there's actually a button that you can click on at the very end and you can actually appeal. And there'll, you'll have to give a reason as to why you think your answer is right or correct, even though you were marked incorrect. But let me go ahead and click on let's go. So just, I'm just gonna show you just a few questions so you can see what it looks like because there's 21 of these and then we'll fast forward to the end. So our question appears in the middle here and then it moves over to the side to make way for our multiple choice. And our timer is counting down at the top. Um, here's my progress. As you can see, my little progress bar at the top. Here's our four questions. And then here's that I don't know question we were talking about. So the question is, oh, what is the goal of the Project Polar Bear promotion? And I can click on I don't know. So let's just see what that does for a second. So it shows the correct answer but then we have 200 points, right? So maybe instead of losing points, we, we can gain 200. So here's that second question. Now, what's interesting about this and what, what I really love about Quizzy and its utilization of chapters in YouTube is let's say I really don't know the question, but I, I want to research it. I can actually click on the video and what it does is a couple things, two main things. Let me hit pause again. The timer's counting down, but as soon as I play the video, the timer stops and it allows me to view this video. And it's not just the video from the beginning. In this case it is, but it's just, it just so happens to be in this particular part of the video that the information is from. But what, oops, there we go, turn off the volume. But what it does is that for this particular question, I can click on the video and it does two things. It loads the video, it starts playing it. It gives me the overall summary of that particular chapter, but because this YouTube video is in chapters, it takes me to the section of video that I will find the answer in, which is really, really neat. So let me go ahead and just hit pause there and I'll, I'll let the time run out just can kind of see what happens. shows me the correct answer there. And I get a zero because I didn't mention anything. And so it'll go through the test like, uh, or it'll go through the assessment just like this. So let me show you what it looks like at the very, very end. Okay, so we're at the end of the assessment. And if I look on the top, I can see how many questions I got right versus how many I got wrong. And here was the participants. And I can click on review my answers. And it'll show me all the questions and what I got right, what I got wrong. And here's that little thing that I mentioned on the side in terms of the rules. You can click on appeal results. So let's say if I go down here, I'm like, wait a second. I actually think this is right. I can click on appeal results. And I disagree with this because blank, blank, blank. And I can send it and I can send it to the, the host. So let me go back one. And what I can do now is click on back and go to live. So even though I've finished, me personally, this quiz, you can kind of forget about these, these were side ones. Um, this quiz actually has one result because I did complete the quiz in full. And if I click on results, so this is like seeing it from the host now, I have a much better idea in terms of how much data I'm collecting. So I can kind of see per student, which students, um, answered, I don't know, that's what these little question marks are for. These little lines means that they, they just, they did not answer it at all. X means wrong, check mark means correct. And let me go to a quiz actually that has a little bit more data. So let me go to finished and click on this one here. So I was able to do this one by using multiple um, accounts. So I can see uh, where it says difficult question. So in this case, for this particular quiz, questions one, two, and three were difficult. And that'll change, of course, as you have more questions. And it, there's another section that says participants, participants needing help. You can see that uh, those students here, those participants here, as well as, as a ranking of 
each participant and in addition to how well they did on that quiz. So let me go back. And if I'm done with the quiz, like if I want this to be over and I don't want any more participants playing it anymore, I can click on my live and I can click on finish. And I'm going to say yes, because I don't want any more participants doing this anymore. And what I can do afterwards is if I want to, I can restart the quiz, which means it'll, it'll reopen it back up again, essentially, and let people um, participate once again. Okay, so let me go back to the very beginning. And now let's start our debrief. So here are my thoughts on Quizzy. I love the idea of what this platform has to offer. I, I love the idea of being able to take a video either from YouTube or your own computer, uploading it and having a gamified assessment experience come out of that, you know, it is great. I think that's, that's amazing. I think a lot more platforms are probably going to head in that direction. So I think Quizzy is on, is on the right path for sure. Thinking about some other things too, as you explore Quizzy, there's a, a few things that I want to mention too that in, that I found out through my experience. The first thing is that Quizzy is new. I believe they were founded uh, in 2023. And so it's obviously, it's a, it's a brand new website, a brand new experience. Um, there's some uh, polishing around the edges that are gonna be happening. There are some you know bugs here and there, but the great thing is that they're really a responsive and receptive company. And in my conversation with them, um, they've been really open. Um, and lending, lending an ear to what I have to say about my feedback, um, about certain things that I found, certain things that I think could be improved upon. And they were really receptive of that feedback. So I'm, I'm really happy with that. Um, as you explore Quizzy, so just maybe a few things for you to keep in mind. Back in the beginning where I said, you know, keep an eye on this number where it says six remaining, the number of quizzes. So on the, on the free version, you have two quizzes. Let me go to their pricing plan here. So here's two quizzes. You get two quizzes on the free plan and on the paid plan, uh, you can either do monthly or, or yearly, and there's a discount with the yearly, is that you can create up to 12 quizzes. So this is actually uh, one of the points that actually I brought up to Quizzy, was like I have two quizzes and I, I use one, and then I decide, nah, I, th I think I'm gonna forego on that quiz, I delete it. It's not one of those things where you delete a quiz and then that frees up the slot again. What it does is that it's like a one and done. So once you use that quiz, you're now down to one quiz on that particular account. There's no second quiz that you can uh, use again or relieve a slot. So that's just something to, to keep in mind. And also, just like with any artificial intelligence experience, anything generated by AI, always just double check it. So know your video going into it. So just double check the, the summaries and the questions that it asks. In my experience so far, they've been pretty good, both the summaries and the the questions. I know I would have to modify some of the questions. And I also noticed that sometimes it creates duplicate questions in different chapters. So that's just something to keep in mind. It's not a big deal. And I know that's something that they're going to address later on down the road. But really, those are the only two things that I can think of. But when you explore Quizzy, just keep those things in mind. But overall, I think Quizzy is a great up and coming platform. And I look forward to actually seeing what you think in the comments below. So have fun exploring and I'll catch you on the next video. Thanks.